Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking stewed potatoes with bacon and chorizo. So let's begin. Okay then. So we got our pan here. Let's turn the stove on. I'll turn it right up to number seven. And I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. We don't need too much today because we're going to fry the bacon and the chorizo and that will a lot of juice will come out of it. Also I've got my about well, half a small onion and three garlic cloves there and my broth which was from the other day when I made um, what was it? Mm, cauliflower and potatoes and chorizo. So I've saved that up for this. Also, I've got my potatoes already cubed up into bite sized pieces. And we shall be eating these potatoes with some pork sort of pork chops I don't know what you call them in English really in Spain they're chuletas de aguja 951 gram 580 euros and that works out seven no six euros ten a kilo which they have gone up about one one euro something also these potatoes you can have them as a papa for example or you can eat them with anything else you like basically okay so once the oil is hot ish I'm going to add in the bacon there and also the chorizo and we'll let that gently fry there until the bacon is sort of not crispy but near enough and all the juices have come out okay then so once the bacon starts to crisp up slightly you can see the lovely juice there I don't know if you can see it there from the chorizo what I'll do is take all this out and put it onto a plate okay so there you go and as you can see, I've got the lovely juice from the chorizo, the bacon and the olive oil here. So what I'm going to do is just turn it down to number five, to medium heat. And just let it cool down a little bit. Alright then, so once the oil has cooled down a bit, I'm going to add the garlic, when, I mean the onion, and the garlic there. And I'm just going to gently brown it off. Okay then, so once the onion is nice and soft, onion and garlic, and it's starting to go brown, what I shall do is chuck in the three bay leaves. Add a teaspoon of sweet paprika, or you can use the hot one if you like. I'm going to put some food colourant, just a little sprinkle, to give it that nice yellow colour that I like. And I will add back in the bacon and chorizo. And I will put in just a like half a glass of the broth that I have. Give that a mix. And I'm gonna turn it up to number seven now. And let's that start to bubble. I'll give it five minutes. Okay, so five minutes have gone by. 
So the next step will be to chuck in the potatoes. Mix them about a little bit. And I'm going to ch um, chuck in the, the broth also. Well, it looks like I might have to add a bit more because I want to cover everything up. So I've got my broth here. I've still got some left over. So there you go. So instead of half a litre, I'll change that in the description to about 70 cl. And now I'll turn this right up and bring it to the boil quickly. Okay, so this has started to boil at last. The thing is the broth has been in the fridge for quite a few days. So it was very, very cold. So what I'll do now, smelling delicious by the way, is turn the stove down to number seven. And we'll give it 20 minutes. Okay, um, I nearly forgot. Five minutes have gone by and I want to do a salt check. Because I'm not sure if the broth has got enough salt or not. I'm just going to add a sprinkle. And we'll leave it there to complete the 20 minutes. Okay then, so 20 minutes have gone by and these should be ready. Let's have a stab check. Oh yes, perfectly done. So I'll turn the extractor fan off. I'll turn the heat off and I'll just remove them to one side and let them cool down for five minutes before serving them up. So here we have them. Delicious stewed potatoes with bacon and chorizo. Well, thank you very much for watching today's recipe video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please leave me a like if you did. Leave me a comment. I will reply as soon as I can. And I look forward to sharing my next recipe video with you. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.